Hey, Coach, I want to start off uh, asking you uh, your assessment of Liam Eikenberg's rookie season. Sorry, it's just pulling you guys up because I like to see the whole week. Um, yeah, uh, Liam, uh, like we've been saying, I think he's been, you know, working hard, trying to progress, working his, his, his knowledge of the game, his skill set is, you know, kind of just the guy we got in the first place and always trying to improve. So I think that's hold, hold true. Um, in terms of the final assessment, got to wait to have the final game to kind of give that about my whole group. So I think he's he's been working hard and showing great character and things we look for. Harry, hi Lem. I was just curious why Austin Jackson left the game for three snaps on Sunday, and to this point, how would you assess how he's played uh, at left guard? Yeah, uh, again, I know uh, I saw the whole question yesterday for Flo. And that's kind of like, you know, leaving it more to discussion between Flo and really he's kind of answered those questions and, and with us and the staff. But in terms of the assessment, another guy, uh, Young, and you know, the good thing about AJ when he went in there, he just kind of went in there with his hair on fire, trying his best to just fight and compete to improve, you know, weekly. And, you know, we're meeting more and he's still hungry even now, hitting me up, takes me trying to get more stuff done. So I'm excited about that character in that guy. And uh, just kind of we're going to be the best lineman he can be for the Miami Dolphins. Do you believe yet you have enough information to know whether Austin Jackson can be a good NFL left guard? Is that an answer that you think there's enough data to know yet? Um, when that question, like for those questions in terms of like the full thing, I, I like to be able to go back at the end of the year, you know, and use all like the, you know, some of the grading things that like we talked about before, be able to revisit the, the film and rather than saying like just right now, like, yeah, yes or no. So, you know, again, at the end of the year, I get all my stuff together my notes all over again, put them out there on the desk and just kind of be able to chance to revisit myself. And I'm, you know, then we go, you know, meet as coaches and, you know, meet Flo and we meet as a group to really discuss that. So right now I can't give you, you know, yes, no, you know what I'm saying? I, I know the character, I can speak more about these guys' characters. I see it every day, but in terms of like the results, like, you know, which is the most important thing in this game is results. I have to go back and look at the full, the full menu, you know, you want to see what was improvement, was a repeat, this, that, and the third. So I, I, I can't say, give you that answer today. Thanks, Lynn. Omar? Lynn, I wanted to ask you a, a, a question about the, the unit's performance, which has been fairly inconsistent at times. It's, it's somewhat limited the offense in terms of um, what you've been able to do from a run game standpoint and also from a protection standpoint. Where, where have you seen the most improvement from this unit so far this season? Improvement, yeah. Um, are you saying like times it just seems like we gotta keep working our fundamentals, techniques, and the thing about just being in the trenches in general is that's something that's always gonna be worked on. You know, you want even if you got an older guy stuff like that. So the big thing is we gotta keep improving our our consistency, like you're saying, being intent intentional about everything we're doing, every play, one step at a time. Um, the improvement is I think you get to see the mental toughness in these guys and the drive and the finish and things like that. You get to see that in terms of what I see and, you know, in the meet room, stuff like that. And on the field, I mean, I get it, we have to improve on the consistency anyway, but I think um, in general, like the, the, the understanding and the knowledge, those things have been getting better. And then, you know, our techniques have been getting better, but like you said, I mean, you said yourself, we, we got to, we must be consistent in this league, especially in the trenches going against these type of defenses, these athletes up front. Does anyone have any final questions for Coach Lem? David? Hey, Coach, uh, could you evaluate yourself as offensive line coach this year? You know, I would love to again, but that's one of those things at the end of the year. I mean, uh, you got to look at the whole the whole thing as a group. You know, and when I evaluate, my, evaluate myself, it's not just the guys you guys see playing. I got to look at the guys, you know, who weren't playing as you guys didn't see. You know, did they learn? Did they develop things like that? And, you know, I'll have my own ass assessment for sure, but I'm, I'm, I am have to wait to the end of the year because right now, even now, I'm breaking down a lot of film, go through a lot of film for the New England Patriots. Gotcha. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Joe? How would you describe what this year has been like for you? Um, to this point, well, I think – the word I was thinking about, kind of just thinking about everything like that is, I mean, growth, you know, uh, it's been definitely a lot of learning and growing. 
you know, I've been very blessed and fortunate to be a part of the Dolphins right now. You know, just they gave me the opportunity and that faith. So, I mean, I'm very grateful for that. And so this year has been, you know, being grateful, but just kind of keep pushing myself to try to be better for just not only, you know, my group, but for the, for the Miami Dolphins. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm. We have time for two more. We'll go to Barry and then Omar. Barry? Hi, right, I'm going to ask you about Dieter. Do you think he's proven himself to be a capable NFL center? Or once again, do you not have enough data to know that yet? Not enough data again. You know, uh, you know, feel, all you all feel bad for, you know, your, your team for sure. But your guys, especially, you know, Dieter, you know, had that, that injury in between. But I mean, I think he's bounced back and try to, you know, get back every every day, you know, improving in terms of getting his techniques right and communication and just he's always been a part of the room, you know. It was like if you haven't, you know, rode a bike for a while or took in a shot, you know, getting back in the groove of that. So the, the the full data on that one, again, is gonna be easier to, to assess at the end of the year, taking the full grasp of everything that's going on. But in terms of the character of the guy, his mental toughness, I can tell you that, um, his knowledge of the game and trying to learn more. I mean, I think I think he's on the right path for sure. But, you know, we got to see growth, you know, like this game, you, you can't be stagnant in what you're doing. You got to keep trying to push to the next level. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Final question, Omar. Want to ask you about uh, Jesse Davis. Obviously, it's been uh, a difficult season for him from a production standpoint. Um, where, where, where have you seen or what is the reason? Obviously, the knee was something that he came into the season with. But why is Jesse not performed to his usual level this year? Um, again, I I know you seem like repeat, and I, I have to go back and look at the full grades. You know, um, a lot of times when I'm in, we you know we get done with the game, I grade, uh, try grading the plane, we review it again. I, I when I hit the ground, I hit the ground running. Like I've already been on the New England picking them last week. You know, I, I, I focus on the game the next game. We hit the corrections and the technique stuff and hit throughout the, throughout, throughout the week. But in terms of like the full compass of the year and how he's performed based off, you know, the grades that I see and the, some of the things that factor into plays, excuse me, I can't, I can't give you that answer because I don't, I, don't, I don't have that, you know, full summary yet. Um, I, I do know Jesse's been, you know, that, that leader guy in the room, uh, coming to work every day, you know, never complains. So I know the things about his character, what he's brought to that room, that knowledge and being that, that, that leader for our group. But in terms of just the production, based off once again, my grade and how I grade it, I can't, I don't have that full data for you yet.